And welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We are at Anethicar, which is how we're going to start off these episodes until we get all the ones on foot completed. We're at the peaks. This is where I'm at on the map, right north of the crystal. So let's suck it on up. And then we're going to have four more to get for this area. At least on foot, at least. Boom. And it lit up. So let's get back in here. Let's talk to them and see what is next for our main story quest line. Ba boom There you are. Everybody's right outside waiting on me. Alphanit? Rather cowardly of them, uncharacteristically so. I don't know why the Imperials would abandon Ala Gloomy without a fight, but I'm glad they did. Alize, so that's why the village was unharmed. Strong and unified. Mango would rather not keep General Admin and the others wait. Level 68 body pieces we don't want. We'll take the Heaven's Eye material. Well, you heard the flame, Jerome. Looks like we've got a meeting to attend. Oh, they brought the table and everything. Look at that gigantic clar or tarp or rugs or whatever they got. Looks like a bunch of rugs. Hey, whatever works, my friend. Serpent officer. On behalf of the Elder Sister, I thank you for your swift and decisive action against the Primal Mates. We are not unaware of the danger it posed to our fair nation. Imperials are not estimated as once, and they pay dear for it. They may not be so easily deceived next time, but if we cannot fool them, we will simply have to be or break them. Everything appears to be in order. Very good, very good. Enjoy your time with Manigo and her kin. Aye, that's what I wanted to hear. Too many soldiers forget the importance of time away from all this. That everyone, then let us begin. Algrina is ours. And for the for our mercy, we took it without losing a single man. But we dare not grow complacent. Specular Imperators would not be so easily won. If I may, General, should we not pause to consider the Imperials' motivations? For Xenos to surrender a fortified sediment of strategic importance without so much as firing a shot is... inexplicable. We searched the village and found no traps or other signs of sabotage. Suspicious though it may be, I will not refuse this gift from our enemy. The path to El Mahigo is through the east. Though Specula Imperatorius and Castrum Albania, it bears repeating, however, that the latter is home to a massive cannon with unparalleled range and destructive power. Which means that we would need to strike Specula Imperatorius quickly, both to limit their ability to locate our forces in the field and to utilize the installation as a shield against attack, as they would doubtless not risk damaging the towers. I see, but you may have no choice but to accept what we have been given. Aye, that's the way of it. I've no doubt that Xenos has got something planned, but we'll just have to deal with it when the time comes. To the assault, then. The main hoist? will commence a direct assault on Specula and Puritors. During this time, I would hold the signs in reserve at Allegrina to deal with any Imperial forces that may be dispatched in response. Understood. Wait a minute. You should be fighting with you and the Resistance. I understand you don't want to rely too much on Tickman after what he's been through, but at least let the rest of us do our part. What will I say? 
she wants to fight, I'll save that her fight. Or don't do anything too reckless, all right? Let's go with caution. Don't do anything too reckless, all right? I won't, I promise. I'll do what Conrad says. I happen it would be best if I accompanied you, I would say. Can stay with Sig. Oh, go if you must. The two of us can take care of ourselves. You have your orders. Dismissed. I don't know what she's cheering for. She was told to stand down. Now she's disobeying her orders. Meanwhile, deep within an Imperial Research Facility, here we go. Somebody's getting modifications. Her and her team. Nice. Oh wait. Not her, too. My, oh, my head. Let us see. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait. My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Guardians are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. This deficiency, for want of a better word, saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsabad. Fortunately, said region, was replete with vast deposits of ceruleum, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. It was with Magitech that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. Through modification of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas, my theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. Only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... Skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower? Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. 
Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you. Found you. Don't talk. You give away your position. All right, so full of fire and ember, weren't they? Well, I wouldn't worry too much. They're strong and they'll have each other. At least he spared me the trouble of having to speak up. I wasn't about to let these go alone. That's it. A little bit of gill, a lot of XP, Heaven's Eye Material 5, and another quest for the books. So, come on back tomorrow, we'll, we'll continue on the main story quest line. Till then, y'all take care.